in this video I want to give you my permission to hoard a little bit. We make a lot of soap and one thing that you have to grapple with when you start making with a lot of soap is justifying buying all of those ingredients that go into making your soap extra awesome. I'm going to be giving you a list of ingredients that go in our soap that are also good for multiple things. They're multi-purpose, they'll save you money when you buy in bulk, and they're all natural. We make all natural soaps. Most of the ingredients that we use in our soaps are things that you can eat by themselves. So a lot of these ingredients are going to be really good so let's get into the list. First are some things that you can use for cooking and also like skincare. Things like coconut oil, olive oil, sunflower oil, canola oil, and castor oil. So of course olive oil and canola oil can be our known for their cooking aspects but you can also use cooking um, coconut oil in and sunflower oil and cooking but also castor oil and coconut oil are really known for their good skincare benefits. Coconut oil is good for moisturizing your skin. Some people like to use it on their hair and same with castor oil. Castor oil is a good ingredient for hair growth so those are some good ingredients you can use for cooking and skincare. And next is also some more food ingredients. First is things like powdered milks. So in a lot of our soaps, we use coconut milk powder. So this soap here is our um, milk oats and honey soap. This has coconut milk powder. But you can also get um, buttermilk powder, just like whole milk powder, goat milk powder. And the powder is good soap but also um, powdered milk is more shelf stable than of course regular liquid milk so this is good it's easier to store for if you want to use it um, for later and for food purposes next is salt and sugar when you buy salt and sugar those are amazing um, seasoning and flavor ingredients in food and also salt is kind of a good medicinal ingredient like if you have um, a sore throat um, or if you've had dental work done good to gargle with salt water so salt is good and of course sugar as well as honey honey is a good kind of sweetener as well as people like to use it for medicinal things vinegar apple cider and white vinegar they can be great cleaners and also in food and things like rhubarb and paprika we use paprika as a colorant in soap but paprika is a great seasoning and a spice and rhubarb is also another good ingredient you can use in soap and in your kitchen and here are some other ingredients that you can use for some other different things one is charcoal we use activated charcoal in our soap but you can use some people who use it in their dental hygiene routine you can use charcoal for multiple different things charcoal is a great thing to have turmeric we use turmeric in our soap turmeric is great for skin care but it is also great for medicinal uses alcohol just rubbing alcohol we buy gallons of 99% alcohol for sanitizing our, our stations and for soap making and alcohol is great for having on hand for cleaning and different stuff like that and it's good to have on hand for when people just want to buy it up in certain situations so alcohol is a good thing to have we get a lot of canning jars for making our videos canning jars are good for when you want to actually can food if you want to store the actual ingredients that I'm talking about, they are great and multi-purpose items to have. White kaolin clay, so this might be, if you're not familiar with soap making, you might be thinking what's that, but kaolin clay is a great natural clay. It's good for your skin and a lot of people also use it as a natural shampoo by itself. Baking soda, baking soda is good because you can take a bar of soap grind it up and use something like baking soda, washing soda, and make a laundry detergent. And baking soda is great by itself, something you can stock up on good and that will have multiple uses. Spirulina. Spirulina is something people use for nutritional reasons, but we also use it for in our soaps for colorant, but also skincare reasons. Herbs. We use herbs in a lot of different ways for our soap and skincare, but of course herbs are great for food medicinal reasons, skincare, all types of things. And we have herbs like comfrey, calendula, plantago, all different types of things. We have bags and bags. I'm not thinking of all of them right now, but we make herbs. We use herbs all the time and they're great to have on hand. Essential oils. 
Essential oils are really good things to stock up on. So things like peppermint. Peppermint is good for as a bug killer. So as a natural bug killer in our basement, we use peppermint essential oil down here. And it is great for killing bugs naturally in a way that's not going to be super harmful to you. The essential oils is a good item to have. And then a certain supplies. So with soap making you need like life safety, um, aprons, gloves, masks, eye protection. And all of those things are great for other uses. Masks are good if you have a cold, if you have something like that, it's good to have them. Or if you are working with certain materials, um, gloves is always good if you're working with something that you shouldn't be coming into contact with. Um, eye protection is always good if you, even if you're working in the yard or something like that. And even with like cooking utensils, pots, bowls. All that stuff it's good to have some backup of that that is a good laundry list of some things that you we use in soap making that we buy a lot of bulk of but you can also use in a multi-purpose way and they are all natural and safe to use for you and your family so if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe comment down below any suggestions or questions you have and I wanted to point out this uh, my friend made this nice shirt for me so, and you know, I have two pugs, so appreciate the shirt. And also we have added our holiday collection is now live on our website. And we have a 25% off sale going on right now. So you can use code early holiday sale on our website to get 25% off your order. But here is a look at our two new soaps. We have four new items, but this is two of the items. So this is our snow day soap. This is made with indigo powder, this blue color, and it has sugar in it for extra bubbly lather. It is a beautiful soap. Then next we have our cozy Christmas soap. This is scented with eucalyptus and spearmint essential oil. So this is super, these are two of our Christmas soaps. So you can go ahead and grab these now at a discounted price if you go now and use that code. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and hope you enjoyed this video.